Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian here. What we're going to do today is take this old lawn tractor and turn this into a wind-powered and solar backup farm implement device. It's a really small platform that I can work with and build kind of our original prototypes for the sustainable farm and home project that I'll show you later on. Uh, one of the things I liked about this one, let me go over here to the back. So I like the fact of where the pulley drive is for the rear end. And you see this big giant pulley. If I zoom in for you, you can see the belt right here going onto the pulley on either side. Right there and there. I'm going to use this rear end because it's belt drive and it's got that big nice uh, pulley diameter already on it. So I'm going to build something that holds an upright wind generator. It's not going to be one with a bunch of blades spinning this direction like we typically see. This will be blades all up a upright shaft spinning this direction which will give me the perfect directional spin to apply the belt right across over to our pulley right there and that should give us drive to drive this rear end. We'll look at how we can control this somehow robotically if, if kind of a manual robotic or low-tech robotic way of controlling this out on the farm so I don't have to be out there every day waiting for the wind. It's just any time the wind or the sun's out this thing starts up and starts doing some of the work on its own and you can imagine a fleet of these really small about the size of a lawn tractor instead of giant all sitting out there with their own wind generator devices their own solar panels everything ready to go all right folks i've ripped the rear end now out of that riding lawnmower i decided the frame and all the extras on there are just far too heavy for this project to start out with to make it nice and easy to make work here so what we've got is this rear end and i just want to show you watch this tire up here rotate this takes very little energy to get that thing to rotate. And if I can get this to work just right with the right windmill, we should be able to move this pretty efficiently down our rows. Uh, like I said, we're going to need some stability things, uh, probably wider tire stance than this, a longer track, things like that to give it stability due to the wind. We're now out in the field. We're ready to test our little prototype here. I'm just going to real quickly go over what I added to it. It wasn't much, so I didn't do much for a show on this. Uh, what we have is some angle iron. I don't know how well you can see all this folks, but this is the original bracket right here that mounted this rear end underneath that lawn tractor. And on this side, I've only got one screw in there, which is, allows me to pick it up. And that gives it a kind of a flexible frame on this side, allowing it to kind of go over bumps like you'll see here in a moment. Uh, the other parts of this, I've just got a satellite dish connector right here that held the pipe for the satellite dish. And you can see with one finger here, folks, I can make this thing turn move the tire. It's very easy to do. You'll see here in a moment how well this works. Uh, the other side, once again, is this another piece of angle iron going off right there. And at the end of it, I have two wheelchair uh, chairs here. A big bolt running through the center of the bearings and not holding them on there. And they're just a guide tire. And if I give you the right aspect here, right there, you'll notice one of the rods is on one side, the other rod's on the other side. That'll track those two tires on either side of a row, keeping the row right in the center there. You can see it's just really simple. Angle iron, uh, mounted right off the original brackets, nothing else, just a, a place to hold a piece of pipe right off the center. And now you can see the wind generator portion of it. It's upside down at the moment. I used a barrel lid for our top on there to kind of weld or tack weld these pieces of sheet metal roofing that we use for the blades into a special design. Kind of looks like an S. If you were able to see this from an up above view, it's about as good as I'm going to be able to give you folks. It looks just like an S going through there. The top is smaller in length across than the bottom, giving me more stability. So the wider base here, closer to the bottom of the frame, is going to give us more stability in this system. And this is just literally a piece of galvanized pipe, the same pipe that went to the, uh, the satellite dish holder there. On one side of the pipe, I took the piece of sheet metal here. You can see the edge of this one. Set right over the pipe, screwed it on with three screws. One right there and then one all the way at the bottom. It did just the same thing. So once I screwed this on, I bent it around and did just the same thing over here with this piece of sheet metal roofing. Screwed it on at three spots and then bent it to the other curve. Tack welded that curve down there on the barrel to give us this design. Let's go ahead now, put that piece right there inside of that holder right there and start this out in the field and see how well it works. Well, as long as it just keeps working like that, folks, out in the field, that's a pretty effective little machine. Just slowly cutting its way across under the power of wind. Well, just a small amount of robotics added to this to kind of guide it around through the fields as the wind turns it. And we've got a pretty viable system here. Just kind of walking around it as it's moving here. Giving you kind of an idea. Ooh, now the wind's picking up a bit. Now we'll actually get some speed out of this. It's the first time today we've actually gotten some speed. I'm going to hold still so you can see the crawl rate. Now that's awesome, folks. Look at that. That little blade system just humming in a circle. 
This was our last test of the evening. We wanted to give it a test in all different kinds of terrain. Earlier in the video, you saw that we tested this out in the middle of the rows on the field and actually made it drive over the crest and in through the valley of the row. Going sideways over the rows was a really interesting test to watch to see that that little small wind generator blade on there delivered plenty enough torque to move this device across your field in the opposite way you would typically use it. Now we also use this straight up the hill there and it did a good job moving right up the hill. We're using it now on the driveway as you can see.